Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine, and if you remember from a month ago, this is Chris Prelog, the president of Windstar. We were at Sea uh, Trade together, but today we're at the inaugural of Star Pride, sailing from Athens to Barcelona. Uh, this is after COVID and after a $250 million uh, refresh. Uh, upgrade, lengthening, and then Chris and I will show you all the stretch marks here on Insider Travel Report. First of all, take a deep breath. All six ships are now sailing, revenue uh, sailing, and you are, uh, how hard was that? Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievably uh, challenging in so many ways, but at the same time, we've learned so much about our own operation and about cruising as a whole. So it's also incredibly rewarding that we are now fully back in service. Uh, absolutely uh, appreciate everything the team has done. Your six ships are divided between traditional sailing ships and cruise, uh, the star class. Uh, but we were on the veranda looking up, and what did we see in the Athens port? Yeah, we were on board the star pride and then we saw at the after end of the ship the windstar our sailing ship just docked next door so that was a really beautiful sight i mean what else can you have a better experience on when when you sail away on the star pride and you look at the windstar but how often they are even next to each other like that that's not a, a that's a rare occasion that's a very rare occasion that but it is uh, occurring of course right so this is an inaugural voyage for one third of the ship Two thirds. It's a re-inaugural voyage. It's already <laughs> so. You're going to show us the the where that uh, seam is or where those things are. So let's go do that now, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. You know, many guests ask me, where do you see? Uh, the expansion you know where, where's the 80 foot uh, insert really and the best way to see it is really an open deck and when you stand here you can see where the extension came in and uh, wants to show you this beautiful pool deck with uh, um, a brand new main featured pool as well as a jacuzzi and has lots of open uh, space lots of space for the guests as you can see there's plenty available on deck chairs and we have a full ship so we we've got plenty of space and uh, everything is new whether it's the teak whether it's the the walls the, the painting we've got everything done new because one of the things we really wanted to make sure is you don't see a difference between the new part and the previous parts of the ships so I'm going to show you quickly a really important space as you can see I'm standing right as to where the the ship has been cut apart and I'm a bit funny because you can't see it actually yeah. here is a uh, is and if you really wanted to to know you can see the the seams uh, of the cut right here but there's a seamless integration into the previous part of the ship with everything new from paint to teak and what have you to the new part of the ship where it's also new so we have really looked into every detail to make sure the hand railings are new the, the steel is new and the paint is new and so that's why it's seamless you don't see where we cut it so Alan, here we are at the star grill and i wanted to show you this because it's so exciting to be here this is our all day dining al fresco alternative which where we serve lunch and dinner and now we've actually this crew served uh, breakfast here as well and uh, the team is just setting up lunch and one of the things uh, i wanted to make sure you see is that we have had a glass balustrade installed so when you're actually sitting at the tables you have no blockage on your view and it's just like a never-ending view and and the wind is cut down uh, tradition uh, tremendously so the wind is cut down tremendously and of course one of the secret hiding spots I have sometimes is right here because that's my favorite ice cream machines You know, one of the things which have all our ships in common is our open bridge policy. And so you can just walk in and have a, a, a look around. So if we can do it here quickly. 
So one of the things we have greatly enhanced is our spa and uh, I'm gonna show you now quickly the spaces, okay? We were starting here with the entrance area and completely renovated. Hello, good morning! And uh, have a really wonderful salon. And I really like it, the way it's laid out. It's really modern, it's very contemporary, but it has one thing for all the male guests, they're gonna love it, and I'm a huge fan. It's a barber chair with all the services available to males and haircuts and barber services. So really, really cool and I'm loving it. So I'm going for one later on in the cruise. So now we're going towards our vet uh, area which is uh, also completely redone and new. As you can see, we've got the heated uh, loungers, you can relax. And then we have our uh, sauna, steam room, and event shower areas, the red area. And people really enjoy it and are having a great time uh, in our spa. And then, of course, the changing rooms, uh, human animated changing rooms, so these are completely redone from ground up. And uh, shower and restroom facilities, lockers, changing rooms. So there's a lot of uh, infrastructure being used um, in our spa. One well, nice feature is um, the lockers can be used with your own key, so you don't need to get extra keys. Um, and here's an example of a massage room. Now, I want to show you one of my favorite spaces, which I absolutely love, is our gym. We've got great workout gear there. I'm a little bit of a gym freak. I mean, I do run a lot, but that uh, running machines we have are fantastic, so I'll show you. Morning. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> so here we go, into the gym. Morning, Wake. <laughs> So we have a fully equipped uh, techno gym uh, area, is very large and as you can see guests are using it and uh, really enjoying uh, working out the good food they're taking in. And this is where you find me usually in the morning or in the afternoon at some point and I love spending time in here. I think it's great to be featuring a gym like that. One of my favorite spaces on board, Quattro 44. Let's quickly peek in there. So here we are in Quattro 44 and uh, you can see an open kitchen concept. You can see the chefs preparing amazing food and our tables are laid out in a communal style. So we have larger tables and uh, where guests can get to know each other because one of the things on small ship cruising is really getting to know uh, each other, guests and crew alike and so on. So there is um, a lot about Quattro 44 to do that and there's a high energy behind a beautiful beautiful uh, restaurant concept and that's what I love about it. The name, Quattro 44. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, restaurants around the world who use their street address as the name of the restaurant. And so we said, well, what would be the street address of this restaurant um, on the ship? And each ship is built in frames and each frame has a number and it goes from frame one to however long the ship is. And on this ship, this restaurant sits on frame 44. And that's why it's called Quattro 44 because Quattro is the Spanish name for frame. So it's frame 44 in Spanish. Good story. <laughs> So another great space uh, we have converted really nicely is our Star Boutique. We have new jewelry, we've got new watch selections, a really nice and great uh, logo wear selection with fragrances, all the uh, things you possibly need during your cruise. And also here, it's interesting that here we had a lifeboat hanging 
here was a part of the casino and if you look down here that used to be the library and so we've converted it into one very efficient space and made it a really nice star boutique. So Ellen, we are um, about to enter Amphora, but this is one of my favorite spots on, on the ships. Obviously there's the Amphora, but have a look up. And uh, the spiral staircase has been an icon of this uh, star class fleet. And it's beautifully presented with a completely renovated area here as we enter into the restaurant. And uh, now we are entering a part uh, of the ship which I wanted to show you right here where I am is where the cut line is. So here is the uh, previous part of the ship and here is the new part of the ship. We are entering a completely new uh, Amphora restaurant and you can see it reflects of what the Amphora restaurant has always been. This is also pretty common between the six ships. They're looking and feeling the same. It's the same furniture, the same uh, soft goods, and uh, of course the same menus and the same experience. But on the Star Class, we have now really a nice featured wine wall in the back of the restaurant. So here our wonderful wine display and it's uh, just a center stage basically for our amphora. Um, let me show you a little bit behind the scenes because obviously you can see the ship on the uh, guest facing side has been completely renovated it looks wonderful it looks great and the guests are really enjoying it we're seeing that in the feedback but I wanted to sh give you a sneak peek behind the scenes of actually what we have done for the crew so follow me entering uh, the crew corridors and uh, I wanted to start with you to show you our crew gym. It's a brand new crew gym and for a small uh, yard like um, Winstar to feature a crew gym is uh, certainly something we wanted to um, implement for our crew. Well, also they have to be able to carry heavy plates yeah. with heavy food. Exactly. So they, they need to work those muscles. Yeah. And then you can see all our crew corridors. Uh, we are sailing right now, so the, the watertight doors are closed. But the entire crew corridor is completely new. There's new flooring, new ceiling, new walls. And uh, also the crew cabins got enhancements to the bathrooms. And, uh, you know, we have, of course, in the new section, new crew cabins as well. And you will see our our crew mess has been completely done as well. You can see we've got um, a new buffet line, a complete new flooring, ceiling, lighting, tables. We've got the crew bar area here as well and a complete new crew bar installation as well, which you can see here. When you go through this door, you see our officer mess, which is also completely done from ground up. Let's make the lights. So as you can see, uh, our crew areas were all enhanced as well and creating that uh, new ship feel, which we have done in front of the house, also at the back of the house. And that was really important to us because it will enhance the crew experience and in fact that will enhance the guest experience. So that's really important for, for us as, as a company and that's why we did it. So now let's talk about, we, we're talking to our travel advisors and so sales and how to sell the product is really the, this part of the interview. Um, First of all, 35 years in uh, Tahiti, let's talk about that. Yeah, so we are the expert in Tahiti and we are 35 years there with uh, various ships of the Windstar fleet over the 
over the years and we've really formed a strong relationship and bond with the local people with the local government with the suppliers and really Winston is part of Tahitian culture and it reflects in everything we are doing so Tahiti is also my favorite destination and I'm so excited about going back there very soon because I'm you know sharing a little secret with you now that we have our star breeze going to Tahiti in October so that's news um, which will come out very shortly we will have our 35th anniversary celebration in Tahiti throughout the months of October I will be myself be on board on October 9th for the cruise we'll have a fantastic time and celebrating Winstar in Tahiti together and the local government is coming on board too so they are joining us so this is going to be the way to cruise in Tahiti this October as we talk about these uh, destinations, it's amazing you only have six ships that we're talking about. Yeah. So let's talk about the Persian Gulf. Well, so we have the Persian Gulf um, 23. in 23, and it's a new destination for us. We're sending a star class ship uh, to, to that area, and that is a huge, rich, cultural and historic uh, destination our guests have asked us to go to. And we're already seeing a, a good development in, in the booking scenario there. So absolutely great itinerary to look for so those are the new ones but then you're known for uh the caribbean uh costa rica panama uh let's talk about those yeah i mean we have our traditional panama cruises but we now have changed them a little bit we have also uh, added colombia in it and uh, some new ports so we're always refreshing even our existing uh well-known itineraries mm -hmm. to provide something new to our guests mm -hmm. and that it's not only in Panama, but it's also, we just finished uh, earlier this year, our Grand Caribbean cruise uh, on the Windsurf, which was over 40 days going around the Caribbean Sea. And then, of course, one of our historic places we've been going to for a long time is the Greek Isles, where we are literally sailing now. And then we will have uh, different itineraries here as well. Okay. And then I was uh, interested to hear about Australia and Iceland. So. We are having the Star Pride going here to uh, Iceland in just a month or so and we'll be up there for our summer season and it's a perfect way to see Iceland. Just like in Tahiti, you go from uh, one beautiful spot to another in this really great environment and get to see it in comfort but also experience the shoreside, uh, what Iceland has to offer. And then the star breeze after she's been in Tahiti will transition down to Australia and New Zealand and offer those uh, cruises for the first time to our guests. And then we are seeing already really good bookings on the on the star breeze in this area. Right, so I travel advisors, I wanted them to know that. I also wanted to remind them of this. I'm gonna we're gonna play word association. I'm gonna give you three names and you're gonna tell me what they what they make you think of. Okay. You ready? James Beard, Stephen Reichlin, and Anthony Sasso. <laughs> <laughs> holy, cr holy macaroni. Yeah, so that is our uh, um, partnerships on the culinary side. And Minsta has all... It's a little ship. How do you fit these guys in here? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Our food and beverage team is doing a fantastic job with it. But we have great uh, culinary partnerships. James True. Beard Foundation featured uh, mostly in the Amphora restaurants. We have a guest chef program, several sailings a year where guest chefs come on board, implement new dishes because they stay. So if you miss the guest chef cruise, it doesn't matter what the guest chef has produced as the menu, will stay on board our entire fleet mm -hmm. and you get to enjoy it. So our menu cycle is always refreshed because of that influx from James Beard Foundation chefs. And then of course we have these great alternatives. It's like uh, Quattro 44 by Anthony Sasso. Oh, it's yeah. Spanish eclectic tasting menu. I mean, it's full every night. People absolutely love it. High energy restaurant and really uh, Spanish flavors is up and coming, of course, in the in the culinary world. Mm -hmm. And then Stephen Reichlin barbecue. Yeah. I mean, he's the barbecue guru, right? right? right. There's, there's a, a great name. And when you go out to Star Grill, you can have some of the best barbecue in your life. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, that brisket, what you're going to taste uh, on this no, cruise. No, I did taste it. And, and the quote is, is real. This is not backyard barbecue. <laughs> Correct. This is That's the real stuff. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's not many recipes I've asked for myself personally, but there are some of them I've asked Stephen Reichlin <laughs> to, to provide. So a uh, fantastic restaurant. And of course, we, we keep having candles uh, as our steakhouse in our um, evening program as well. And that menu has also been refreshed. So mm -hmm. we, we're constantly evolving our food and beverage product. 
So, it, it, I mean, you stretch for, I, I'm talking about eateries, and you stretch from like 210 guests to 310 guests. Correct. And, and that they can eat in, I think, four or five eateries, plus they have uh, room service. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a, a small yard with five different restaurants and uh, eateries. Uh, and you could have quit at James Beard, but you did not. No, we actually extended, we renewed our contract because it's so well known. That it's such a good program for us as well because again it brings in new flavors new dishes new products to the organization that's the way to to look at this okay. so we got go out to a hundred thousand travel advisors more than a hundred thousand let's talk about the selling of the product and the differentiation in your product because you have um you have the sailing ships you have the star class yachts um and let's talk about the advantages of each and and how to land which uh client on what yeah so we are the only uh, small ship company who's really two different uh, products our sailing ships and our motor ships and really the sailing ships is really all about the romance about being close to the sea lots of open deck spaces very individual service but also having greatly appointed staterooms and it's just feels really the romance comes alive mm -hmm. and uh, on those sailing ships are iconic in, in you know in Italy in Greece or in Tahiti so there's there is a there is that and our star class ships they are you know an all sweet uh, ship they have you know walking closet dual vanity bathrooms large spaces balconies French balconies in the suites and they have this dual layout of the suites right you can choose there if you want your bed at the window or if you want your sitting area at the window because we've got different options there and, and you go on a cruise how often do you get to take a bath so you can choose a bath versus a walk-in correct so we've got options in all the new bathrooms uh, whether you want a bathtub or a shower so that's another uh, variety we offer uh, so there's uh, with Winstar what we'd like to do is offer a lot of choices mm -hmm. and under the same uh, name under the same uh, service and and hotel product those those are the differences what do they have in common yeah so there's a lot of what they have in common I mean first of all the crew so the, the crew is uh, absolutely amazing here at Winstar and no matter which ship you are they're gonna provide this genuinely care uh, of service and they really look well after you they know you within a day and address you by name and really know what you like that's what all ships have in common we also one of the very few cruise lines who have marinas on every ship so you can you know experience the destination when we at anchor we drop the stern of the uh, ship door and uh, people can jump into the water and we have of course the yacht club where we are here now the buzzy coffee living room of the ship where this is available on all of our ships so that it's another thing we we have in common but don't forget we also have james beard on all of our ships so the great food which uh, you receive on any of your ships is you know powered by james beard partnership and uh, so you get that as well so there's a lot in common as well so let's wrap up by just uh, letting uh, there's stuff they need to know they need to learn how can they get more involved how can they learn more they go to the uh, you got a portal a sales portal yeah we get an advisory hub with all the information we have frequent webinars our sales team is always available if you have any questions give us a call um, we are more than happy to share any information with you on our new deployment on how the ships are laid out or on our programs well, that's great. Chris, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for spending the time. Thank you for <laughs> well, thank you, Alan, for being here. It's such a privilege to be talking to you. And thank you to all the advisors for listening in. We hope we get to see you on board one of our beautiful yachts and look forward to welcoming you on board Windstar. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.